will almost be qualifying into the semifinals. If we look at the numbers in the white group, Toronto with a three and one record, qualifying for the semifinals for a second week in a row. And the GOATs looking good. Two wins and no losses. Five minutes, cinco minutos. The warm up is on the way and that's the matchup between the San Diego Stingrays and the Arkansas Matrix with Miguel Lamperti and Maxi Sanchez. For the Stingrays and Gonzalo Rubio with Mario del Castillo for the Arkansas Matrix. Of course, in the Pro Paddle League format, each series is played to three matches and you have to win two of them. A men match, women match, and a mixed doubles. Time to introduce the players, Maxi Sanchez, the shark, playing for the San Diego Stingrays, former number one, born in 1986 in Argentina. This tournament playing on the right side of the court because right next to him, he has Miguel Lamperti, the one and only Miguelito, born in 1978 in Argentina, playing on the backhand side. Show is guaranteed with Miguel Lamperti. Time to jump to the other side of the net to go with the Arkansas Matrix team. Salo Rubio, Gonzalo Rubio, the lefty. Really physical player, born in 1991 in Spain. Playing, of course, in the right side of the court. Sharing this tournament. And the last one, too, with Mario del Castillo on the backhand side. There he goes. A young player, born in 1997 in Spain. Playing on the backhand side. We expect a close match between these players. And if you're new to the Pro Panel League, we were talking about that finals at the end of the year. That's why in every single regular Three season events, Good afternoon you try to get as many points PDL as you can. As a champion, you get 1,000, runner up 850, the and then you go back until the, the last right place where you only get 100 points. One Sanjay million dollars in the total season purse, Maximilio a prize Sanchez money like never Lampetti. before. And $155,000 per regular season event we'll play and $385,000 in the PPL Cup Final, where the again, will only best of eight three sets with out of ten teams system, will play. Of them, and if there is necessary, a match tie in the third one. The balls will be changed every nine and 11 games. San Diego yesterday losing against the beat by 2-1. The team from Arkansas won While the in the first day they lost against the Houston Volts by 2-1 as well. The Arkansas Matrix beating Miami Pedal Club in the first day by 2-1. Two two and yesterday, doing the same against the Houston Volts. Coming into this week, probably as the underdogs. And they are really close from the semifinals. In just a few minutes, we'll be kicking off the third match of the day here in the center court after a long start. The Atlantics and the Toronto Polar Bears. And then Miami Paddle Club. Against the Houston Volts. John Sands was not playing today after been uh, injured yesterday. Tapia was playing, but Ramirez and Guerrero played fantastic, magnificent paddle to get another win. Last minutes from this warm up. That's a shark, Maxi Sanchez, playing with Miguelito Lamperti, wearing the white shirt from the Stingrays and the red team. The Arkansas Matrix, Salo Rubio, and Mario del Castillo. updating the information and the results from the secondary court 
where Julieta Vidaorria and Lucia Sainz are playing for the San Diego Stingrays, and where Patti uh, Yaguno and Cata Tenorio are playing for the Arkansas Matrix. Windy day today in Miami. It's hard to master Time the lob shots. For the, beginning of the, match. the wind is pushing behind the back of the Arkansas Matrix, so the San Diego Stingrays will start playing into the wind. The last match was a marathon between the Miami Paddle Club and the Houston Volts. Tapia and Mercadal winning the first set 7-6, losing the second one 7-6, and then the Houston Volts finishing the job with a 15-13 in the super tiebreak. The unique format that the Pro Valley League has, with every single match played up to three sets, you have to win two, but if we go to a third one, it's going to be a super tiebreak to 10 points. The mixed doubles only play to one set, and in case of a 6-6, we play as well a super tiebreak to 10 points. Sometimes the mixed double doesn't really matter because a team wins both matchups, but sometimes, if it happens to be a 1-1, we have to go into the mixed doubles match in order to see who moves on with a win. Players heading into the benches. Gonzalo Rubio and Mario del Castillo, final adjustments, final details. And after this, we will have the green light to kick off another match here in the Old Preparo Club. A lot of people enjoying the paddle party, the VIP area. Some music from the DJ, the fans getting ready for the San Diego Arkansas. I'm reading you in the chat in the official YouTube channel. I want to know your questions. Where are you watching from? Who do you think is winning? San Diego or Arkansas? Yesterday we had people from Norway, from Sweden, from Finland, from Portugal. Today I see people from Belgium joining the chat. Time. Catalina asking, I do not understand why Miami Paddle Club is performing so poorly this week. How did they force one of their female players to play injured? She wasn't forced. Of course, she wasn't at 100%. Starts. Nuria Rodriguez went to the hospital Tuesday. Then she was okay. She had the green light, but today, again, she felt something. And that's the reason she had to retire. And Miami Paddle Club, of course, last week, they had Agus Tapia and Ari Sanchez. And John Sanz this week. Max Ari Sanchez, Sanchez left and John Sanz got injured yesterday. So uh, the team play. is clearly not the same. That's why probably the results are not as good as they were. San Diego kicking off the match. Miguel Lamberti and Maxi Sanchez playing for them. And Gonzalo Rubio with a big smash. Alongside Mario del Castillo for the Orkansa, the team that has just won the first match, the first point of the match. People from Finland, Hapana, and Nathaniel from Ottawa, Canada. Thanks for joining. Matthew for the Let's, Let's Go Matrix. Supporting from Arkansas, so the local team for him. Thanks for joining. Again, if you have any questions about the format, about the teams, more than happy to read you here in the broadcast in the English channel of the Pro Paddle League. Yeah, no block. 30. From Miguel Lamperti, good push from Mario del Castillo. To make it 15 30, the Arkansas pushing from the beginning. Charlie from Bentonville, Arkansas as well. So we have a lot of fans from the Arkansas Matrix here. And they're playing well this week. Winning two series. 
without a loss yet. Looking strong to go into the semi-finals, but first they will have to beat Miguel Lamberti. Executing now a perfect por tres. Thirty all. Do we have any San Diego fan watching from home? Good surf, but even better return from Gonzalo Rubio. Lamperti lets it go. Forty-thirty. The face bomb from Miguel Lamperti. Power smash from Gonzalo yes. Rubio to bring the ball back. Golden point. And we're going to have a golden point, as you know, when you reach a 40-40 or deuce. To receive. That's a golden Gonzalo point. Rubio to receive. And the team winning the point wins the game. The receiving team chooses who takes the serve. In this case, it's going to be Gonzalo Rubio, meant to be the leader and the captain of the team. Just fake smash. Castillo gets it. Flying goes. Gonzalo Rubio. Miss hit to send the ball out of the court. First game of the match. Close to the parking lot, probably. It's a hold for San Diego. The first game of the match for the white team. Really windy today in Miami, so when it comes to lob shots, you're gonna ma you're gonna have to take it into account, as well as for the smashes. Ball moves in the air. Last week, Miami Pedro Club securing the win in that final against Las Vegas Smash. The other semi-finalist team were Toronto Polar Bears, who again secured the spot in the top four, and the New York Atlantic still fighting for a second shot at it. Gonzalo Rubio to serve. Go, Gonzalo. Play. Rubio serving for the Arkansas Matrix. Finder from Miguel Lamperti, the wind pushing the ball to the back wall. Hashtag Pro Panel League to go to no social center. media, not to miss anything. All the content, highlights, points, pictures, absolutely everything from this game changer tournament. Rubio was close to the net, he wanted to go with the dunk. But it was an awkward ball, not high enough. Third Another 15. long glob shot this time from Maxi Sanchez. 30-15. Smash from Salo Rubio squeezing the ball, placing it close to the back wall. No giving any bounce. Look at that. The ball just dies there. 40-15. The Matrix sends another game. glass finder. Make it three in just one game for the San Diego Stingrays. Again, we were talking about the win. And there you can see how Miguel important it is. 
especially from that side. It's hard to master it. You have to only touch the ball and then let the wind do, do his uh, thing. 1-1. One, one. No breaks so far, all holds. A lot of Arkansas fans watching from home, as expected, of course, with a big chance to make it into the semifinals. Now Miguel Lamberti with a hit, the overhead down the line, 15 love. Mario del Castillo trying to cover the center, but then finding the net. Smart move, but not enough gas in that one. Perfect lob. Now Sanchez using the sidewall. Beautiful shot. It's always tricky after the sidewall because the ball gets a lot of side spin. And the balance is awkward for you. And this is exactly what happened for Gonzalo Rubio. 40 love. Quick game, a clean one for the San Diego Stingrays. <laughs> Big hit from Mario del Castillo, 40, the first of many. 40-15. Coming into the Pro Panel League, of course, you have a lot of players sharing the court for the first time with their teammates. Now, after a couple of weeks, you get to know each other, you feel better, and the level is going up and up and up. Miguel Lamberti is now going to play with Juan Cruz Beluati, another lefty. Stays short. And Rubio sends it out of the court for tres, just four missing three. and avoiding three. that four meters fence. To win another point from the 40 love to a 40 30. <laughs> Watching it, Matrix style. No second serve. That was wide from Miguel Lamperti. He's going to use a second serve. Now the smash from the shark. Maxi yeah. Sanchez bringing the ball back to his court. And sealing the deal here. In the third game of the match, it's a 2-1 up for the San Diego Stingrays.
tango muy apurado el juego, ¿no? Por, no, por abajo, ¿no? por Mario, ha tocado todo plano, fichado. Miguel Le Mane está sí. muy bien sí, 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 Yo sí, ahora de este lado tenemos el punto contra. Sí, sí, sí. Ya, eh, si ahora no sí. podés, por ahora el medio, sí. pero donde podés, vamos en el globo al, 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 al enano, claro. vamos en el globo al enano y subí. Sí, y subí. Yo lo espero y, y, y le salgo. Players to the court, please. Jugadores a pista. Buenísimo. Jugando bien ahí. Mario me dio. Si se va para el medio, señor. Vamos con esto. Ahí, loco. Ahí, loco. Ahí, loco. No breaks so far in this center court. San Diego Stingrays and the Arkansas Matrix facing each other. Charlie asking if we can keep updated the score in the secondary court. Of course we will. A few seconds will be giving that information because, as you know, that match is as important as this one. Now, Mario del Castillo serving for the first time in the match. Great move from Mario del Castillo covering the middle, moving from the backhand side to the right side of the court to finish the job to make it 30 love in the secondary court. 2 1 to San Diego, no breaks. Arkansas serving now. Same situation that here, exactly the same result. 40 love. Three points in a row. The red team. Double shot. They both went for it. Mario again, and same move. Covering the middle. Very physical player. It's another hold for the Orkansa Matrix to make it 2 2. Look at that. Same thing. Making himself big right there. No time for the shark, Maxi Sanchez, to serve. And to do it with a second serve after a long one. Laferti going for it, kick smash, the ball jumps off the wall. 15 love. Three in the corner for Mario del Castillo. It was a low ball. Hard to get under it. 30 love. No seconds on Sanchez down the line, great pickup from Del Castillo. Rubio thought it was going to go out of the court, but the ball was clearly staying in. Miguel Lamperti telling. Maxi Sanchez, hace lo que quieras, tiburón. Do whatever you want, shark. Team confidence right there. Great 
Great ball to the fence. Mario del Castillo playing a magnificent match so far. With great volleys this time, opening up the backhand volley to the fence. To find then a friendly bounce. <laughs> Ten teams divided into two groups of five where only the top two qualify to the semifinals to be played during the weekend. What a block from Gonzalo Rubio. Another one from Mario del Castillo. Gonzalo goes out, but he's not gonna get it. Insane defense from the Arkansas Matrix, but it was not enough. 3-2 for the San Diego Stingrays. Short break and we'll be back with more action. The Argentinian team up by three games to two now. The Spaniards serving. Second serve. Lucky break for Mario del Castillo. Double lock, actually. First, the touch in the net, and then the, the friendly bounce off the fence. Gotta say sorry a couple times there. Lamperti pushing to the net. Now he goes to the right side, but come, coming back immediately to the backhand side. Let's go, Mario. Third. And now. The lock is not smiling to the shark. The ball touched the net, but drop in his side. Thirty love. Rubio serving. Rubio goes for it, down the middle. Perfect yeah. bajada de pared. If you're new to Caro, you gotta learn those Spanish words, bajada de pared, bandeja, chiquita, víbora. In this case, the bajada de pared is the off the wall smash, using the bounce from the back wall. And 
the clean game for the Arkansas Matrix. You make it three games apiece. Arkansas Matrix, three games all, first set. Miguel Lampetti to serve. Secondary court, San Diego winning by four games to one. Vida Orria and Lucia Sainz up in the match. The big jump, but no touch from Gonza Rubio here. Big overhead from Miguel Lamperti. Look at that. The ball jumps and comes back. 15 love. San Diego fighting to get at least one point in the gold group. Arkansas trying to secure a spot in the semifinals in the top four teams. Great block from Salo Rubio now diving for that one. Mario del Castillo. But it was too much for him. If you get into the top four, you have 450 points guaranteed. which is very good in the race to the PPL Cup Finals. Four Wide lob shot from Mario Del Castillo, the wing pushing the ball to the sidewall. 40 love. For the second time in a row, a clean game for the serving team. For these conditions, hot, humid, and windy, it's tough to defend. Tough to win the net. The Portres from Miguel Lamperti doesn't go out. Covering the space, Salo Rubio. Nicely done, team effort. One player going through the door, the other waiting close to the net. Exactly what you gotta do in case of a Portres. Team effort. Sanchez going for it. The block from Rubio. Now he is able to go to the net. Using the bounce off the wall. Great save. Miguel Lamperti. But then Sanchez finding the net. Amazing block from Salo Rubio to stay alive in the point. Then to be able to go to the attacking position. And to end up winning. 40-30 now. We were talking about the clean game. Not the situation anymore. Rubio and another yes. dunk golden from the 40 point. loft to the golden point. It's Deuce. Break point for the Arkansas Matrix. So fast, Gonzalo Rubio, to move from the baseline to the net and then to dunk it. To send it for cuatro. On the line goes Mario del Castillo. Arkansas pushing. One, two, three. And the smash finds the back wall. Unfortunate for the Arkansas Matrix. 4-3 for the San Diego Stingrays, saving the situation. Yeah. 
un lado muy importante. Está con... sin timing. Vamos a probarlo. Yo porque estamos siguiendo lo que vos me dijiste. No, no. pero... Yo te veo. Yo aquel. Sí. Pues cuatro mañana, mañana, lo que quieras. Sí, Tampoco mañana. estamos. Sí, sí. Pero Gonzalo, dos puntos de oro, los dos afuera. Sí. Un entonces muy importante, sé que vamos a hacer. Le vamos a Gonzalo. ¿Y sabes qué va a hacer? La víbora la tiene buena, ¿eh? ¿Eh? La víbora la tiene buena. ¿Quién? La víbora. No, no tiene buena. No, no, ha tirado, claro. Mario, 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 Time. Muy bien Mario, después de la bandeja como estás, sin dejar de paso, porque ahí Miguel, Miguel juega mucho con las chiquitas, pero ahí se le explota, ahí cubre muy rápido. Jugador de esta pista, por favor. Vamos a Mario. 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 Back to the action, but we have to go to the other court because San Diego is serving five games to one. Trying to close the first set. The Stingrays looking solid. Now, Law 15. Julieta Vidaorria and Lucia Sainz from San Diego. Vidaorria joining the team this week. Goenaga was not able to play. That's the reason why the league accepted Julieta Vida Orria, Law 30. And when we thought it was going to be over, now the Arkansas Matrix fighting their way back into the game. Vidaorria serving. Something's happening here. The Arkansas Matrix fighting. La 40, Pati Yaguno and Cata Tenorio holding on to the first set. Not the first one. 1540, still three break points for Arkansas. Lucia Sainz, Pati Yaguno, Julieta Vidaorria, and of course, Cata Tenorio. A lot of experience in the court. So many battles and experience in the world of battle. Nicely done down the line. Julieta Vidaorria to find the second point in the game for the San Diego Stingrays to make 30 40 to save two break points. Second serve for Vida Orria. Three in a row for San Diego. It's golden point. Set point for the Sting Race. Make it 6 1. Solid. Brilliant performance so far from Sainz and Julieta Vida Orria. Set point, San Diego. There they go. Cata Tenorio to receive. Sainz opening the racket. The lob shot from Cata lands in. Another close ball. Yaguno. Now Cata Tenorio to the corner, signs in defense. Patience from Vidaorria and more patience and work and defense. Vidaorria, bam, bam, bam. Everyone in the net and it's Julieta Vidaorria, the one 
taking the point and securing the first set by six games to one for San Diego Stingrays, a non-stop for us. We jump back to the main court where we have a 4-4 four, four. Stingrays. And the Orkansa Matrix fighting for the first set. And with a bit of extra pressure for Salo Rubio and Mario Del Castillo, they have to win. Oh, nice. Beauty. Squeezing the ball, perfect pace, perfect direction. Look at that. Hiding the shot. Sanchez was running to the other side. And it's a 15-30. Houston Volts also win the mixed doubles against the Miami Paddle Club. 3 and 0 oh for the Volts. Here. The forehand finding the net from Mario Del Castillo, making it 30 all. It's an important game as we're approaching the final stretch of the first set. High lob shot. Lamperti is going to hit it. No, he's not. Ball was moving away from Maxi Sanchez. 30 40. Two break points for the Arkansas Matrix, two break points for Del Castillo and Gonzalo Rubio. moment. Look who's the first break point. A block from Rubio to keep the net and then yeah. Del Castillo finding Miguel Lamberti to get the break to make it 5-4 for the Arkansas Matrix. After the break they will be serving to get the first set. Arkansas Matrix serving for the first set. Mario Del Castillo and Gonzalo Rubio losing the first point. Last fighter from Mario Del Castillo. Lamberti and Sanchez fighting their way back. Love 
Lamperti saying that the ball touched the side wall. Have a look at that one. Hard to tell from that camera. But the point win for the San Diego Stingrays. 15-30. Confidence booster. And now Orcans are only three points away from the win. It was risky for Miguel Lamperti. He was close to being hit hard. Rubio de Portres. And he goes. Look at that, the technique, leaning back, creating angle and power, the ball moving away from Sanchez. It's gotta be a rocket to get down there. 30 all, 40, 40 30. 30. Right here. Set point for the Arkansas Matrix. It's all Rubio. He goes down the line. Fake smash. Sanchez running back. And the glass fighter from the Shark. Game and first set for the Arkansas Matrix. 6 4. One step closer. All right, a little switch over for you, Cameron. Everyone coming back to the mic. Gonza getting a chance to get reset here. As we've still got a second set to go in this matchup between the San Diego Stingrays and the Arkansas Matrix. Hope you're enjoying all the coverage, whether it's here on our English channel or on the Spanish channel as well. Lots of voices and lots of fun. Just one break found in that first set on the side of Arkansas, propelling them to that 6-4 advantage. We'll keep you up to date as well on what's happening on the women's side. It was 6-1 for San Diego on the women's match. The first set. See the signs?
rolling across the court here. Rubio. Juliata Vida Oria playing alongside Lucia Sams, Kata Tenorio, Patti Yonguno on the side for the Arkansas Matrix. Matrix have to find this on the men's side. Yay. First game on the side of San Diego. Take a look back at this one. San Diego taking the first game. Amperti, Sanchez. Looking to clean things up a little bit differently here in the second set. Fun to watch these two legends and icons of the sport problem solve alongside one another and the rest of their team. Arkansas. Nice second event here in terms of their position. Arkansas sitting at 2-0. and oh. Be huge for them to pick up a third win. They face the Los Angeles beat us tomorrow too, so especially considering the upcoming competition. Los Angeles beat have three wins. Sanchez on the chase. The strength of Rubio. 40 love. Making a 40 love. Four Castillo four finding the back glass. Still one matchup to come, the Cancun Waves. And the Florida Goats coming up next. Glass finder for Sanchez. Arkansas finding their own hold. One all. Maximiliano Sanchez to serve. Two one in the women's match in the second set. Rubio, Love. little hop. Didn't even have to use his full vertical here. All four of these gentlemen, the only players to have been in these men's matchups for both the Arkansas Matrix and the San Diego Stingray. A lot of battle has been played. This is our ninth day of action. In just two weeks time. 10 days time. Both of these two teams, though, having not made the semifinals, had a little bit of a break over the weekend. The Arkansas Matrix, though, are looking steady. Here we go, boys. 
in this gold group. Trying to book their ticket here to the semifinals if they can find a win. Castillo, loving that one. The volley and the winner. Break point. Both sitting at the net. <laughs> Lamberti giving a yes right back to Castillo. Break point here for the Arkansas Matrix. Ah. Ah. Heavy swing from Lamperti, fighting off two break points to bring us to a golden point, the first tier of the second set. To receive. Gonzalo Rubio to receive. Here we go, Gonzalo. Here we go, Mario. Right here. Golden points. The next point wins. Picks up the game. Third break point opportunity for the Arkansas Matrix. Good ball. Gets him out of position. Rolling through the middle. Picked up Castillo. Soft touch. The finesse finding the break. Arkansas Matrix now up 2-1. They lead two games to one. Second time. break here for the Arkansas Matrix. They didn't find it until the fourth game. The fourth point, excuse me, on the first set. A little different story here in set two. Oh, what a cut. Castillo is showing off a bit. Join this cross-court exchange from Castillo and Lamperti. No second serve. Shot and can't finish. Oh, Sanchez. Oh, San Diego Stingrays could have used that one. Sanchez knows the opportunity was there. Oh, tricky ball. Thought he was going to roll that. Rubio. Another smash. Lamperti not getting a racket on that. Make it 40 love. Love the effort here, though. Took a swipe at it. Three 
32. San Diego up with a break on the women's matchup. Then San Diego taking set one. Yeah. Arkansas Matrix. Three games Four straight here. Now three up, taking advantage of the break they had just found. Make it 3 1. San Diego, they're back against the wall here. Down 1 3, down a set. Second serve. Quick exchange. Ball dropped first on the side of the San Diego Stingrays. Awaiting oh, patiently that ball falls on the glass first. Both the Stingrays standing in anticipation. Let person. Trying to find the block, but there's just too much strength. Maxi Sanchez. Fun to see Sanchez playing on that drive side, that right side. Good hustle from Arkansas, but there's just not enough time. Make it 40-15, the San Diego Stingrays. Looking to find an answer here. Short ball in the return, cutting it off again. Castillo cut, trying to cover. Castillo is just waiting in the wake right now. Ready to pounce on anything coming that direction. Backhand serve here. Right on the line. Flattens in the cross court. Side glass. No! And it's perfection, except for the fact that the San Diego Stingrays steal it away. That one pain to Castillo. Oh, the in between the legs from Rubio. And then this ball. Castillo feels bad he wasn't able to pick up the highlight for him. 3-2, Arkin still, still with the lead. Time. 
Gonzalo Rubio to serve. Advantage still on the side of the Arkansas Matrix. Up 3-2. Now back with the serve. Lamperti trying to fight off that volley. Rubio coming back. Sanchez low on the shoulder. Another ball sent to the side glass, and Lamperti is on patrol. San Diego knowing exactly where this one was going to end up. Rubio sends it back to the glass. Once again, it didn't work outside the court. Thought that one was coming right back in. 30 all here. Nice placement on the overhead. Perti sending that the last, wondering where the wind is as he hit that back into it. Second serve. Hopping underneath. Castillo. Brings us to a golden point. It's a great game right here for the San Diego Stingrays. Last golden point was a break for Arkansas. Now it's a chance for a break here for San Diego. And Perti saying he wants to be the one to receive. Again, once you get to that deuce and golden point, the receiving team gets to choose who will be on the return. San Diego Stingrays selecting Lamperti. Flattens that down the line. High ball slow from Castillo. And slow again. Stays good. Low bounce. Lamperti quick into the corner. Sanchez on defense. Flat. Castillo. And it's a break. Like a running wind sprints. The San Diego Stingrays earning a break of their own. Impressive play from Lamperti and Sanchez. Sanchez ended up all the way on the left side with some defense. Out in the women's match, 3-4, San Diego serving. Arkansas finding a break of their own. Again, 
and Vita Jorge and Lucia Sainz for the San Diego Sting Race out in our grandstand, facing off against Cata Tenorio and Patti Yonguno. Side wall for Castillo Hill here. Oh, Sanchez, another great defensive stop. He missed it. They both did. <laughs> Trying to find what might be considered a scorpion shot coming back and over the top of his head. Turn, a rarity. Wind dying down, just a bit here. Haven't seen that all day. Wind gusts hitting at about 20 miles an hour. Ho, ho, ho. A missed return and then a winner off the return. You gotta be kidding me. Castillo is absolutely fired up after this one. He's still talking. Break point to go up yet again, Arkansas. Again, they're looking for a shot to move on to the semifinals. Wynn just stopping that ball. Another break point. <laughs> Lamperti from the service line. <laughs> like it's easy. And Rubio. Ouch. <laughs> Just practically did the splits on the top of the net. Yikes. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. I think he just maybe blew up his hamstring. Ouch. Right here, right here. Game. Off the golden point. Four is three. And the Arkansas Seven. Matrix walking away with a third golden point. Now up 4 3. No me espero que venga luego todo el tiempo. Cambiaron la estrategia. Sí, cambiaron. Pero estas hay muy grandes. Pero, escucha, pero yo, yo ahí tengo... Me tienes que dejar aquí un poquito, porque yo también te ayudo ahí. Ya, pero yo no me he fijado ahora. No, en, en el 40-30 es la única. Pero igual no pasa nada. No, no, ya está como tú. La toco y ahora... Es que si te, si te plantas ya muy rápido a la pegada, ya. ahí al final es o la empujas o pegas, no tiene sí, otra. Sí, sí. Igual, Mario, ahora estoy atento. Porque... Hay, hay que esperar. No lo van a tener tan fácil ahora. ¿eh? Si me viene mucho más loco, ahora el viento me ayuda. Vale, 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 vale. Si me queda para bajarla... Wild to look back on some of those replays. Rubio had a little bit of a scary moment. He went head to head with the net. I think the net ended up winning that one. Take a look now to the grandstand. San Diego on the serve, down 4-5. 
Yeah, San Diego down here, 4-5. Having picked up set one, 6-1. So Arkansas Matrix finding some life here in set two. Miss there into the net from San Diego. Be the Ortega. Playing the backhand side. Love 30 for San Diego. See a science on the right, on the drive side. Another yeah. miss on the side of San Diego. Here's a look now, set point for the Arkansas Matrix. Looking to find the break. And take the second set. That one finding the glass. Going to have a few looks here at the break. 15.40, San Diego. Looking to send this to the super tie break. Are the Arkansas Matrix on the return? Up and over. 40, 50. Good ball from San Diego. Again, you must win two of the three possible matches in a series. Set point, Arkansas Matrix. Yongun was sending that high into the air. Now Tenorio works back to the glass. Bajada, they stay back. Still trying to find the transition to the net. Still in the defensive stance. They don't even have to come to the net. There's the set, the Arkansas Matrix forcing the super tie break in the women's matchup. So they get set to play 10 more points. A race to 10. We go right back to center court. 40-30, the Arkansas Matrix coming off the break and up a break here. One more. Rubio and Castillo up 5-3. Pairing off the break with a hold. A little flare there from Rubio. It's got to be the second or third time we've seen him make that sort of play. Arkansas Matrix, one set one, six four here. All they need is a break to get the Matrix up in the series. Oh, what a block. Two hands on the racket for Castillo. A little, little more wind on that lift. That would have been right on the money for Rubio. Quick hands and even a softer touch. Rubio. Hope you're enjoying this third day of coverage for event number two. Six total days of action for each of our events. Four days of group play. And off to the semis. And the finals, Castillo cuts off the angle.
30-15 again. All Arkansas needs is just one break. Sentai Lamperti again from the service line. Just two inches above the glass. Now it is 15 to 40. That brings us to a match point, and they'll have multiple chances to find it. The Arkansas Matrix up 40 15 here. Arkansas went up a break, then it was leveled off by San Diego. And they found a response on the break. Now at a match point. Looking for the Chiquita. Sends it off the glass. Rubio trying to find the recovery. He already had one battle with the net. Now he's going after the sponsorship boards on the side of the court. There is no obstacle too great for Gonzalo Rubio. Backhand serve again from Lamperti. 30-40. Quick hands, Yay. Arkansas seeing Six. red. Pick up a third Arkansas series Lakers. win in event number two. Six, four, and six, three. Thank you so much. Pick up a match win. Beautifully done. Women's match still underway. So good. Yeah, high up, Matt. Just two sets played by these two gentlemen, Gonzalo Rubio and Mario Del Castillo. Very close, but there's a super tie break happening out on our women's match. Quickly get our winner's interview again. They're trying to find a third series win. The women's match still underway. Right now, they've put themselves in a great position. Let's head off to Javi Carrasco with our winner's interview. Muy rapidito porque están jugando las chicas quick, el Super Tie. Enhorabuena, women, Mario del Castillo. Bueno, la victoria ha sido break. sensacional. Quizá la semana pasada no era del todo las mismas que esta, ¿no? Habéis encontrado vuestro juego y habéis encontrado Now we're finding your game and another win. Sí, muy buena. Buenas tardes. Eh, Good afternoon. We're going to be quick because they're eh, playing the Mario. Super Tie break. Again, I want to congratulate Mario. His match eh, was 10 out of 10. He was uh, five centimeters taller. He, were, he would be number one in the planet. I think we have a, get, a great chemistry. I think we are two smart players. We combine with each other great, and uh, we fight a lot inside the court. And now it's time to go to the other court to root for the girls. Mario, if you were five centimeters tall, you would be number one. Yes, maybe five centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> no, More bueno, and uh, maybe other things too. Por, por Thanks again, Gonza, for the confidence, for trusting me. I'm feeling good. I'm playing no, my best no paddle natural, in a long time in the, in the side of the court that's not natural for me. I'm feeling really great throughout these two weeks going from less to more. Gonzalo and the rest of the team are treating us, all the team, are very nice, and I feel part of a family, and that allows me to be my best. Heading off now to the grandstand. A live look in. It is now 2-5. Love the conversation there from Castillo saying, I switched to the opposite side. I'm playing some of the best paddle that I have in recent days. He has no doubt leveled up. Love the competitive spirit of the Arkansas Matrix right now.